Hello! And because my blood pressure wasn't high enough, it's time for another 10 reviews in 10 minutes! That was an exciting intro, wasn't it? Hello, Dan. Hey, Stu, how's it going? You okay? I'm okay at the moment, will probably be dead soon. No thanks to you and your 10 items of terribleness. Um, so how did you actually manage to find all these? I didn't think there was that much left in no, the old tap a, boxes. No, we've had a, a couple more, like, uh, a bit of a restock. So it's, True, it's not, I have it's, had a lot of stuff recently. Yes, yeah, so it's looking pretty healthy out there. I mean, it's going to last forever, so everybody on the uh, on YouTube land, you know, keep sending us No, stuff. don't. <laughs> Please it don't. Up. It's going to kill me. It will look like some sort of weird charity shop from the 70s before too long. Stu, you've got to put brave faces My house up. will be like the Adams Family one. His house is a museum. But actually, it's already like that anyway. So let's not pretend. You've got to put a brave face on these things, Stuart. I've just spotted some green hair poking over the edge of the box that you're grabbing something. I know what that is. Mm. Uh, my mate found that in a charity shop. Yeah, he's, um, he's a lovely little fella. Ah, that's the first item. Is it good? Ah, I've got a bit of forewarning. That makes a bloody change. Right. Mm. I'm going to set the old round timer up. Pop it over here. Start. Five, four, three, two, one. And... There you go. Slightly premature, but we'll let you off. <laughs> yeah. It's weird commando troll doll thing with terrifying eyebrows that look like they're capable of mating with each other, to use a Douglas Adams line, and really filthy matted hair, where he's probably been in the charity shop for a long time. Where do these things originally come from before the charity shop? Right? I have no idea, mate. I mean, it's a very strange thing. It's, it's only articulated at the waist, it's very soft. It's literally like a dog toy. Maybe it was a doctor, which is why the hair is so matted. When were trolls, like, um, popular again? It was, like, 90s? Yeah, they had the 70s, they had that sort of 90s revival with figures like stone protectors, which were, like, a version of this, but an actual figure. And, like, that weird um, internet troll that occasionally pop out with the purple hair. Uh. Um, yeah, this is kind of... He's got his goggles, which are far too small for his eyes. Uh, he's got white gloves, like a waiter or some sort of thing. I don't understand that. And the rest is very combatty. And look how angry he is. He's been working oh. out, though. He has. He's very buff for a troll that's kind of like a dog chew toy, but there we are. Mm. Anyway, enough of that. Oh, oh blimey. The three-pack car launcher. Step one. Load car onto key. Wait for it to click. Step two. Wait for it to click into place. Step three. Press button to launch car. Why are these interesting? Because... Fab wheelies are totally ripped off cars. That um, Pixar, Disney thing? Can't remember. Well, they're both the same thing these days, aren't they? And they have funny eyes I as a result. A, uh, that's um, based on the, uh, the A-Team and that one's cars? I Well, Speed Ninja. I think they've just stuck eyes on some generic cars they had. Good old Fantastic. That means it m must have come from Poundland. I don't remember seeing these in there. Right, let's give this a quick run. Um, oh, God, time is running. Oh, quickly. Come on, uh, Lightning McQueen, but not for legal reasons. Right, rush, as this says. So you stick this up as Jaxie. And ready, steady, cars! Wow. Wow, that's actually yeah, quite good. They're that. very cheap and flimsy plastic, but they really do launch forward. Um, I'm quite impressed by that in a strange way. Oh, no, it's another one, quickly. On. Right, what's this? Um, oh, special... Uh, that classic staple, the ridiculous figures. Special Forces American Hero who have all been through absolutely horrifying um, accidents that have caused them to have weird stretched heads. It looks like they've been filmed in the wrong aspect ratio. Let's get one out. Oh, by one, I mean all of them simultaneously. We, oh my god, they're just like solid lumps of plastic. There's no articulation, they're hollow. He's holding like a chocolate bar in a silver foil. Are they pound lamp? No, these are American, I think. Um, actually were sent in. If I remember, they were part of a weird Easter set or something weird along those lines. Yeah, that's got to be one of the worst sort of head sculpts and faces I've ever seen. Um, that one, his head's far too small, but sort of gets away with it. Just holding, oh, I suppose, a grenade, I think. Yeah, him with the, uh, f is that a grenade or a flashlight? Can't tell. And finally, gr ah, there we are. Here's the money shot. Look at the face on that. It's like Skeletor's deformed brother. Absolutely wow. terrifying. And now it is, oh, my God. There's something genuinely slightly creepy about this, I think, and it's from a children's thing, I'm sure. Fine, it's a very right. soft toy. I find most children's kind of like, ever since like Teletubbies upwards, are, I find them all creepy. Teletubbies have a lot to answer for. Yo Gabba Gabba. And yeah, the other ones look sort of cute, actually. A little yellow robot, a little pink thing, you've got this freakazoid on the end. Are they American? Looks like it, yeah. Um, judging by the copyright stuff. Official licensed product of Nanco. Yeah, I would have said it is American. So it's a nice toy in that it's very soft. Mm. And a child would like it for that. But on the other hand, it's warty and 
It's got one eye and weird teeth. Does it feel expensive? It does. Mm -hmm. Have a feel. It, it's luxurious. Uh, it's like, ooh, very luxurious. If you could find a child that would like that, it would like that, so it's a nice <laughs> thing, you know, but um, you have to get past the design of it. I can't see that many. But Yo Gabba Gabba, I've heard the name, I don't really know what it is, so it must be vaguely popular. Ooh, we're going again with Tractor Truck. I read that upside down in a funny font, one of my many skills there. Supersonic, simulating a true style. That look and feeling like the real thing, it's Sport Racing World Express Super Truck King High Speed. Slight design flaw. Yeah. Rather than sport racing cars, they've just filled it full of fucking tanks. Yeah, that's the, uh, it's the sport of tanks. <laughs> it's tank racing. <laughs> what do we do when they're decommissioned? We race them up and down the highway. Yeah, um, well, it's, good God, this is cheap. I mean, like, super cheap, as you would imagine, but the tank. Why tanks? And you can see it's not even made for these things this size. Look, it's got room for extras. Mm, oh my goodness, look at that. That is... wow. Really bad. That is astonishingly poor, even as these things go. This must have been super cheap. Oh, the top's fallen in already, look. Jesus. Oh man. It's like they weren't even trying. <laughs> but they have got lots of nice stickers on it. The license plate just says truck. That'll narrow it down. Oh, blimey. Oh, no. Superhero. Oh my god. Superhero, the Superman series is new to show up. I thought it was. Made in China, why am I not surprised? Not to three sad onions, and particularly badly drawn sad onions for once. Basically, it's five Spider-Men. The Spider-Man family. <laughs> why do you want five uh, identical uh, Spider-Men? I love the fact as well, some Power Rangers are associated with it. Yep. I don't know it's why. got Power Rangers and that's Ultraman, isn't it, the other side? Yeah. Oh, there's actually quite a lot of nice stuff on the back. Uh, it's just Power Rangers <laughs> I and love Ultraman. That. I love the fact the actual product is not nice. It's, oh, but there's something nice on the back. <laughs> <laughs> there's something nice on this, I don't believe it. There's a little Spider-Man in the corner. Yeah, so five Spider-Men. Got your, all your Spider-Men needs in my package. Party favours? I don't know. Ugh, he's got different um, Spider-Man logos. Oh, he's got Spider-Man logos on each nipple. How bizarre. And uh, a thing to light up in his chest, but it doesn't work. Very poor articulation, that's it. And a balloon for a head. And blind. oh my giddy aunt. Yeah, oh, I'd forgotten about this one. It's Lex Luthor as a child. <laughs> Baby Lex Luthor is here to creep us out. We were moaning about Yo Gabba Gabba earlier. Locally, mm -hmm. we've got Baby Jake. Thanks, BBC. <laughs> so this is as is it... Pengy Quinn. Is this for like a CBBC thing? It must be, yeah. It says BBC in the corner. Um, yeah. There's, there's something. I think it's the marrying of the sort of cute soft toyness with the overly realistic head. Yeah, looks that, kind um, of uh, creepy. What's it called? Uh, uncanny Valley. Yeah, yeah, it is reaching into the Uncanny Valley. It really is Lex Luthor dressed up as the Penguin. Can you? Oh, the hat goes on. Does this make it less or more creepy? One way to find out. Ah, oh, can't get it on. Ah, there we are. Oh, actually, it makes it a little bit less creepy, if anything. But the face, there's no reason for that. And it's rock out to be a strange toy to give a child. It's all nice and soft. Mm. But they can dash their brains out on its head there. Oh, and oh, I love this thing. And this is like a bizarre cross between the USS Enterprise mm -hmm. and the Millennium Falcon with a gun stuck on top. <laughs> it's bizarre, right? I think it's supposed to foam or fire out foam discs or something like that. But all it does now when you press the button is make a really annoying noise. Did you enjoy that at home? Ooh, that hey, headphone users, you love this. Man, let's not ever do that again. Um, yeah, there's something appealing about the obvious rip-offness of the design. Just literally, uh, we've got the Statue of Enterprise, fires mm. discs, stick the old Millennium Falcon cockpit on it and put some guns on top for good measure and then let it light up. Oh, no, I'm not doing that again. Mm. But other than that, it doesn't do a whole lot. I wasn't sent uh, the discs to what's actually fire the, out of What's it. the hole in the bottom of it? That is where the foam discs would have gone in, I think. Well, I say foam, I'm always assuming they're foam. Could have been plastic. Fire further without plastic, would be a bit too soft for the foam, thinking about it. Oh, we're going, we're going. Ah! Oh, hungry, hungry hippos! Where the hippos have mutated into some sort of weevil-like creature. Armadillo? Yeah, it is armadillos. Hungry, hungry armadillo hippos. Mm. Come on, let's play. You have to flick down. Oh, uh, which bit do you flick down? Ah, oh, the legs, there we are. Yep, oh. Like that? Mine's jammed already. Oh, uh, oh what? Well, I went by default, right? Ah! Oh. Oi! Ah, oh, I don't believe it. Yeah. Ah! Oh. It's been 28 minutes, seconds, they're uh, fixing it, so it's over. Come on. Get it? No. 
It's, it's jammed. Okay. The first time I press it, it jams. I swear I must have pressed it once before to test it. I've, I've definitely seen Is this. Is it jammed or snapped? I don't know. And this one's doing its whole eating thing. Well, the principle is, of course, balls go past and you suck them up and they go through there and then whoever has the most balls at the end win, presumably. Well, that wasn't a very exciting game, was it, Dan? No, that's not right, That doesn't surprise me. Oh! What the? Oh my goodness. It's the rude putty. Whoopee goo. Welcome to Grotland. Erg, how gross. <laughs> Lovely. But yeah, it's basically arse putty. It comes in a little pot shaped like a bum. A woman's bum, I would assume, for there is no uh, external genitalia visible on the front. They should um, have gone one step further and made it a man's genitalia. Is, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck the kids. <laughs> oh, dear. So, yeah. Is this... Um, Do you know, I always assumed it was red, but no, it's just clear and the stuff is red. The cover to the uh, lid always reminds me very much... It's very closely uh, goosebumps. Ah, goosebumps, yes. Goosebumps. And that's what it's based on, definitely. Mm. So, is this one of those things where you just sort of shove it in and it makes fart noises? No. <laughs> no is the answer. Hang on, we've got something going. Here we are. Oh, God. Jesus. Don't worry, I can keep going. Please don't. <laughs> this, yeah, this really isn't working too well, is it? Yeah. Ugh. Somebody's got some bowel problems with this one, I think. Mm. Hours and hours, hours of, fun. of sticky, unpleasant bum fun. I never like that stuff because your, your oh. fingers stink afterwards. Yeah, I do as well. It's strangely perfumed, actually. Really? Yeah, usually it smells of some sort of gunky stuff, but yeah. Oh, that is. It smells like uh, talcum powder. Yeah. Put some talc in there, it'll stop it farting, but uh, you know, smell nice for the kids. Come on, give us a good one. No. Can't get it going. Oh, how are we saying? Maybe I don't know the uh, proper. Oh, that was a good one. Hang on. I was going to say method. But, yeah. I was going to say, I never really got Ugh. the um, the gist behind this kind of stuff because it's it's a five minute kind of novelty. It's like, oh, look at this! It's it's stretching goo. Okay, I will move on. Yeah. It's literally. I never <clears> really. That's very much the whole ethos of the whole ten reviews in ten minutes, really. Well, no, I just, well, specifically, but yeah, it's probably perfect for that. Well, yeah, yeah. Jam your yeah, fingers in somebody's torso. And it might make a farty noise. Am I doing it right? Go on, Spider Man. Oh, Jesus. Stinks now. Stinks of talcum powder. Spider bum, spider bum. Does whatever a spider's Jesus. bum does. Oh, hang on. Actually, hang on. We may have something here. No, not working. Oh, Ooh, hang on. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Oh, that won't do it again. Well, apparently the way to get it to work is to shove a small soldier into it. <coughs> <laughs> that is such a uh, solution to so many of life's problems, I find. Save us, tank! Oh, wait. Well, what a load of crap that was. I was going to say, what's your favourite item out of well, these? Well, actually, we're saying that there are some... I mean, the Yo Gabba Gabba thing was actually quite high quality. Mm. Um... I like the weird troll chew toy, whatever the hell it is, just yeah. for the outlandishness of it. I like the idea that the racing people just stuck a lot of tanks in it because they had some left over. Um, and this is just horrific on my, so many my levels. My favourite is the Lex Luthor uh, Uncanny Valley doll. Well, you can have that. That's my gift to you. Aww. You can take that home and show all your family and then they'll never speak to you again. I'm going to, um, what's it called, catch a train just holding this like, uh, and as like a little mascot. What you have to do is go up to the ticket window and say, do I have to buy a ticket please, for I'm my not, little friend? Uh, please, I'm really lost. Could you help me... <laughs> <laughs> and then just keep being sick until they call the police. My child, please. My penguin child. My penguin child, I must, I must get her home. I don't know if it's a she or a he. Or... You can actually just hide under the ticket window and push it up. <laughs> just like, whoop. Oh. Hello, my good man. I require a return to Buxton Mill. I need all your finest tickets to Buxton Mill, please. I reckon it'd go to Bishop Stortford. <laughs> I don't know where Bishop Stortford is. I think it's somewhere local, but you occasionally see it on discarded tickets. <laughs> Twice I've seen it on tickets people have thrown away. It's like, I'm going to go to Bishop Stortford. My question nah, is, fuck that. My question is, why are you, are you looking up discarded tickets? <laughs> well, sometimes <laughs> it might be the one for where you want to go. Maybe it's we just literally end up there. Well, you see, Dan, the story is behind... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Actually, no, it's because they leave it in the bloody ticket collection machine. So you go to get yours out, and suddenly there's all these other bits and bobs uh, in there. I happened to test yesterday, actually. I did. Yeah. yeah, there we are. What an anecdote. Well, here's incredibly emaciated 103-year-old Rambo mm. to end us off. I'm pissing off. You'll get some Nando's. I'll see you lot later. Mmm, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Now you've advertised Nando's. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll, uh, <laughs> what are we going to do? We can just, uh, I'll, I'll say... Mm, I'm off to get some Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll do it again. Uh, I'm off to go get some chicken. Probably not from a chain ranch. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really imagine any brand actually paying to be um, associated with this sort of video. <laughs> Basically, we're going to go through ten shit yeah. items really quickly. Yeah. Well, I say shit items, some of them are actually quite nice in their way, but their way That's is no weird. To, that is no way to talk about my child, Stuart. <laughs> he or she is hardly a rubbish child. It thinks it's a penguin, and it's got no guts. Could we create a creature out of all these different parts? There's the arse, there's the legs. Well, like a Toy Story, uh, like in the first Toy Story. Yeah, what, um, like a Sid. Sid. Yes, yeah. Sid, uh, Sid mashup. That's it. Fuck, let's let's get some Nando's. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe for more.